Okay, so I want to demonstrate the power of uh, doing so many questions. Uh, so as I mentioned, right, because you do so many questions, a lot of the P6 students, before they go for exam, they, they see the thing, they see the picture, they roughly know what this thing is all about. Okay, so can you see this particular question? Now, uh, what I want you to focus on is not copying down the answer. Okay, it's not copy down the answer. We're recording this anyway, so you can watch it again. And I will do this again next week. So, just want you to focus on uh, the techniques uh, of answering this the question. So, let's just take a look at this picture. Now, what do you see? Dead leaves, right? You see dead leaves, right? Okay, so there are dead leaves. What else do you see? There's like holes inside at the top. Uh, so, what do you think this type of question is about? Just what comes to mind first? Leaf, litter... Uh, photos. Got where? Got photos and uh? Got plant or not? Is there a plant? Dead plant. Okay, so dead plant can you photosynthesize? Cannot. But so it's the reverse of photosynthesis. Okay? So let's take a look at this thing. Uh. So name the process that caused the dead leaves to turn into damn black. Damn black substances. Yeah, okay, so you don't have to copy down. If you want to copy down, also can. I'll just type it out. Okay? Decomposition. See? So very fast. Composition. It's a very quick one. So next, so you see, this is how I look at questions. You see, so far, so far, did I go and read every single word? Haven't yet, right? Haven't yet. But we already know roughly what it's about. So we look at the second one, second question. So without changing any of the parameters, suggest two methods uh, to make the dead leaves turn into black substance faster. We want it to become black faster. Faster. So basically, we want to find out what will make decomposition faster. What are the things that make decomposition faster? Temperature, right? Temperature. Okay, so increase temperature. So one thing is to uh, increase temperature. Increase temperature. So how? Uh, why? Why? Why increase temperature? Is because decomposition takes place faster. Takes place faster in a warmer place. <coughs> okay. So decomposition takes place. Uh, now uh, you you gotta copy every single thing. Okay. No, no, no. Next week we will still see this. Now apart from increasing temperature, what else can we do? Uh, what do you think we can do? Uh, we can put more holes. Why put more holes? Okay. Without changing. Put more holes in what? Without changing any. Then. So we never change any of the parameters. That means we didn't take it out or replace with something else. We just modify. Okay, we modify the thing. So why put more holes? Why? When more holes, what happen? Yeah. So more air can enter and increase the rate of decomposition. Can? Okay. Okay. Uh, Isabel, let me copy. We are just going very very quickly. Next one already. Okay. Zoom. See you next. Okay. Picture time. What do you think this is about? Picture, just picture only. Picture germination. germination. Okay, we got seeds. Uh, what are the what are the requirements for germination criteria? Mm -hmm. Yeah, air, water, warm. So explain why the lime water turn chalky. So this is the lime water. Okay, why did it turn chalky? Yeah, very good. So warm water is associated. Uh, lime water is associated associated with coming outside. So uh, because carbon dioxide oh, is present. Okay? Uh, why is it present? Where did it come from? Yeah, it came from the germinating sea. Okay? Next. But don't you copy it, don't copy it. Ne next week I will go through again. Next week I will show, alright? Okay, so I just want to go through very quickly what are the things. Uh. It's like watching TV uh, now. So uh, some of the seeds did not germinate. What will happen <coughs> after a week? 
The sound of them never germinate. What happens to seeds that never germinate? Die. Yeah, they will die. Okay, they will die. They will decompose and die. Mm. Do you remember a long time ago we did the... Did, we, did I grow the thing with y'all? Green bean? Huh? Never <coughs> made y'all grow green bean? Potato, eh? Potato never. Are you okay? <laughs> that was quite a reaction, eh? <coughs> okay, so... Uh, so the seeds did not germinate, they will decompose. Okay, so no you copy first. Let's go on next one. So why would they decompose? Because it's wet and it's warm inside here as well. Right? It has all the conditions necessary for decomposition. Next, look at picture time. What do you think it's about? <coughs> right? What do you think it's about? <coughs> Plant transport. Okay, first thing comes to your mind. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Plant transport. Stems. Stems. What else? Blue worm. Food. Yeah, uh, food carrying tube, water carrying tube. Very good. So, after some time, Emily observed that leaf X had weeded but not leaf Z. So X, weeded. Huh? This one weeded. Gone. But this one still okay. See, even got flower here. Wow. Why? Eh? How come this one died? Phew! But this one fine. This is fine. So you see, they have a they cut this thing, right? Position P. They cut here, but they did not chop the whole thing. What did they do? Let me you see this. Uh, remove the food and water carrying tubes from the stem of plant. So here, the food and water carrying tubes are gone, but at the bottom is only the food. <coughs> So here only remove food. Uh, what does it mean? That means can water reach the top? Okay, so no water. Okay, no water, no food also. Because both the food and the water carrying tubes are removed. So that's why the one at the top decompose. Okay, then how about the bottom? How come here we remove the food carrying tube? Yeah, because this thing itself can make food and most importantly water can still go up because water can still go up, it can still make food so the food, he, this leaf, uh, eat, eat itself, eat by itself consume the food by itself That's it. Understand? Can? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes Never mind. Next week still got chance. Okay, ah. Uh? So so that's how I answer A. So after some time, that swelling above Q. Ah, this is a classical question, though. That means here the thing become bigger. At this part, what happened? Why did it become bigger? Uh, yeah, what happened? The food. What happened to the food? You see here, this one can make food, right? Z can make food. Now, if when it has too much food, uh, what does it do? Distribute to everybody else, right? Yeah. So can you imagine here you cut the tube and then after that the food come down, and then it gets stuck here. <coughs> Where does it go? It cannot go down, no. So it goes sideways. Okay, it's like human being. You know human beings. Are you a human being? Yes, okay. Um, so if you eat too much, or when there was once I was very fat one, so I ate a lot. You know what happened to me? I grew sideways. Why? Because the food cannot go down. Uh. Can the food come up from my feet? Can the food, you know, can the food like come up from me? We go down. Cannot, right? So where does it go? It gets stuck here, right? And then what happened? I grow sideways. Simple. Okay, so it's the same for this plant. The plant, the food cannot go down. Uh, so it gets stuck here, it goes sideways. That's a very good question. It will get, will human beings explode? Have you seen a human being like eat, eat, and then suddenly, you know, in KFC, McDonald's, then he eat one last chicken. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that before? <laughs> Can you imagine one last chicken wing? I'm going to eat my last chicken wing. Then go inside and suddenly boom. <laughs> Don't have lah. Don't have lah. Okay. So it's the same for the plant. It's not gonna happen for the plant. 
a plant will just grow bigger. Just like human beings, uh, it, it just grow bigger. Which reminds me of a news, okay? So there was, uh, I saw this Indonesian boy who was 190 kilograms. Uh, he's like your age, 190 kilograms. Your weight is probably like 40, right? So how many times? It's five times your size. So he was 192 kilograms, okay? So uh, what happened was, uh, did he explode? No, he didn't explode. He was just just fat, uh, just super duper fat, okay? So uh, why is it a news? Because he lost 100 kilograms. <laughs> yeah, he lost... Yeah, like 80 something, okay? Uh, so that was three years ago. That means uh, now he's at three. Three years ago is your age, huh? So now it's uh, about 80, 90 kilograms. Still fat, uh, but he lost 100 kilograms, bro. Lost 100 kilograms, bro. That means lost two of you, eh? You know what I mean? It's like two, both of you disappeared from his body. Eh? <laughs> you understand? It's like at first got Isabel and SD, then suddenly disappeared. Isabel and SD disappeared from his body. Okay, how do you do that? They had to do surgery. They they make the stomach smaller. You know, at first, stomach is so big, right? So he keep eating, uh, so feel the whole thing. When he eat a little bit of food, what happened? Only little bit, but big stomach, right? So he always feel hungry. You know what I mean? So what did the doctor do? B, and B, and B. So the stomach become like that. Okay, so when he eat a little bit, then, oh, very full already. He eat a little bit, oh, very full already. Okay, so end up, he didn't eat so much after that. Okay, so it's a surgery. They have to take out the stomach. Uh, so last time, like this, uh, no matter what he eat, right? Always not full. Yeah, like that. Fee, fee, fee. He becomes so tiny. So he becomes full. Very quickly. Okay? Anyway, that is some Facebook stuff. Next. Okay, we do one last question. Then we call it a day. Oh, what's this? Oh, this looks so scary. But we see the word lungs, right? And dancing. <coughs> and what's this? Time. So this is the number of times he breathe. I don't know what dance he do, uh, but you look at this. The more he dance, the more uh, rigorous he has to breathe. Okay, so what's the question about? Uh, okay, so from the graph, describe the changes in the following when Ali dances. What happens to the volume of air as he's dancing? Increase, right? Can you see the volume of air? The volume of air he take in, uh, at first it's only this amount, then that increase to this amount okay so that's increase uh, how about the breathing rate at first it's regular that's how we walk yeah so dancing is like exercise uh, right rigorous exercise wonder what dance is doing so describe how oxygen in the environment reaches Ali's legs as he dances how does the oxygen reach his leg while he's dancing what is the system that brings the oxygen to the leg? Mm. Yeah, circulatory system. Okay, the blood, uh, the heart, the blood, the blood vessel uh, will pump the blood and then it flows. Hey, we still got time for another one. So it flows, yeah, to the. Yeah, correct. <coughs> Can you see that? Can you see that so far a lot are repeated one? Just that they use different picture or different uh, ways of explaining. Okay, one more. Okay, what's this? Tiny opening, stomata. So, size of stomata. Different. So, based on the table, the, the plant photosynthesizes the most from 10 to 4. Why do you think the plant photosynthesizes the most between 10 to 4? <coughs> yeah, the, in the light intensity. It's not the most sun. No. How many sun do you have? Yeah, so are you saying between 10 to 4 got 10 sun? You say the most sun? Uh? Uh, no, no, no. It's the light intensity is the strongest. Or you say uh, it is very sunny, sunniest. Okay, so light intensity is stronger than that. So how the change in the size of the somata can be a disadvantage growing in a desert? Why is it bad uh, if the somata become too big in the desert, if the plant is in the desert? Why is it bad? Do you know what's the stomata? It's the opening, okay, under the leaf. By the way, desert, do you see this type of leaf? No, okay, you see cactus. Cactus have what type of leaf? 
needle like leaves. Okay, so in the adaptation, we will study that. Okay, I'm going through that. So I'm going to skip this. So anyway, the reason is uh, it is bad for a plant in the desert to have big stomata. Why? Because water will evaporate and then it will, it will lose water very fast. Okay, so in the desert, cannot have too big stomata. Last question. What do you think Mei did in the experiment to ensure that her results were reliable? Oh, this one classic question. Oh. Classical. I never even see the thing. I know what's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand? Repeat and to make sure that she find the average and to make sure that the experiment is accurate, reliable. See? This is called the power of knowing uh, and doing and uh, putting in hard work to uh, go through different papers so you know roughly what is being answered even though you didn't really go and read every single thing you will be in the correct direction understand okay all right okay so that's it for today uh, yeah it's time to go home so next week um okay now this paper we haven't done anything right do you want to keep with me so that you next week you don't have to bring it or you want to bring back also can up to you okay so you'll bring back okay so that's all for today that's all for today. You can go home already. Alright.